Hello Google Trusted Photographers, I'm Scott Nebuker. You'll see me as uh, Red Shirt Photography on Google Plus. Um, I'm here to basically talk about something that is a Google product that could probably help us all with the constellations. Um, we've had a lot of problems with people having issues with ingesting the photos into the ingestion software and having a hard time figuring out exactly how to orient each image in relation to another image. Um, the product that I'm going to talk about is Google Maps and it's Views. And I'll show you exactly how that works out, what the web address is for it. And uh, yeah, so basically let's, let's get into the computer. What we're looking at here is the main Google screen. We start here. I'm going to click here and fill this out. We're going to go to google.com slash maps slash views. This right here will take us to well, what is my views page. I, over, I click on my goofy little face. And you notice it gives me a whole bunch of information. How many photospheres I have, how many views and all of that. I'm going to click on the Buffalo Soldier mo uh, Monument that, I've, uh, that I shot a while back. And notice that the video is a bit grainy. That's just my video capture system. If you see, I can pan around exactly like we can with these photos that we are doing, these panoramas. The only difference between this and what we do is that we do it officially on Google Maps. And you notice what I'm doing here is I'm walking around in the same exact method that we will in our program. And up on the right side, I've got the uh, each red dot marks a photo that I've taken of this Buffalo Soldier Monument. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the three dots, go down to Edit Constellation, and then it will bring up something that looks pretty familiar to what we are using. And I think this is where this software can actually come in handy for us. And here we go. It looks quite a bit similar if you've uh, been through the ingestion software. You notice I have my north indicator, I have the chevrons, um, and I can, I can spin it around. It'll indicate which marker that I'm looking at next. I can spin it around again, see the next marker that I'm pointed to. Notice that on the left side, it's keeping up with me completely. And again, that last image that's in here. Um, you notice that I can spin around just, I mean, exactly like what we're doing. And you notice here, what I've got is the gray dots. We'll get to that in just a second. What I'll do is I'll show you this. This is, a, is another example of something that we have, that little, uh, the, the tiny planet that pops up. There's another example of it. And those indeed help, they help everything. So back to the, the gray dots, what I do is I click on that and that shows exactly like it is in the software where I cannot walk or where I can walk. And notice I've got the horse right in my way. The horse means I cannot walk to that spot. So that spot should not be solid blue. It should remain as a grayed out dot. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out here. We see that these are connected. I've got them connected to far too many of the photo uh, of the Google car nodes where they've taken pictures. I'll take a few of those off um, so that we're not overdoing it. Uh, there we go. We'll just make it an even three on each side. I might even reduce that at another time. So yeah, this is it. This is it in its basic form. Um, and then, you know, just go show you some stuff up here, show you that the dots those nodes, those exist all the way throughout. The yellow ones are where the Google car has taken pictures. Now, once we're done doing all this stuff, we can hit the publish button. That publish button brings up the notification that it is publishing. And of course, it gives us the whole spiel about how it could take a few hours for connections to appear in your profile and all that stuff. You notice that on the right side next to the Buffalo Soldier Monument, it actually says that it is publishing. Uh, you'll get that notification for a, a while, while it is QC'd and all that. Um, also notice on your views page, you've got this little squiggly. That is an indication that that is a photosphere or a photosphere um, uh, constellation. 
So there it is in a nutshell. It's not exactly what we would use in the ingestion software, but it is very close. There are some things that, uh, that Google doesn't allow to happen here within this system that is allowed within the ingestion system. Um, but, and what I've shown is the basics, is a shot that I've already done that was already published. Um, if you wish to, uh, if you look at the uh, description down below, I will give uh, the location of where this is so you can take a look at it for yourself. Um, as well as there's some other ones around the area that I've done. Uh, and all of them are done on my Nexus 5. None of them are done with my actual, like, for real camera. And there's reasons for that. I can get to that at another time. Um, and I claim no perfection in what I do. Please don't ever take me as being perfect at any of this. Once you declare perfection, then you are irrelevant. We are here to help each other. So let's do that. If I can help you with this, then awesome. Let's, let's get it done. Let's do it. Um, I appreciate your patience. It's probably a little bit of a longer video than, than I wanted. But I, I believe that I've gotten my point across. So hit me up, Red Shirt Photo, uh, actually Red Shirt Photography on Google Plus. Um, you can reach out to me on uh, not Gmail. It's Scott Neb. It's S C O T T at gmail.com. All that information I'll put down in the, in the uh, description. So happy mapping, happy photographing, and let's all be successful together. Thanks.